Hey, what's up, Street Dogs? Eric from the Eric and Street Photography Blog. So, I just want to give you guys some thoughts on how to be more zen in your photography. So, currently, I'm shooting all my photos with the Ricoh GR version 2. And essentially, the way I have set it up is I have on P mode, program mode, which automatically chooses the aperture and shutter speed. Generally, I you can press this little effect button and I have it on high contrast, black and white mode. And in terms of just kind of setting and forgetting it, um, I've been experimenting shooting just RAW plus JPEG to make life a little bit easier. And also in terms of ISO, either setting the ISO in the back to 1600 or just <laughs> being lazy and just setting it to auto ISO, which is all the way up here. But usually, in terms of just setting and forgetting it, I like ISO 1600 with the, uh, black and white and just setting and forgetting it. So the reason, okay, so first of all, I don't think black and white photography nor color photography is better or worse, they're just different. For my personality, I prefer shooting black and white because it just simplifies and strips out the superfluous. So often I think color could be a distraction. I like black and white because you're not distracted by the colors and the hues, you just focus on the emotion the scene. Generally when I'm shooting and I'm trying to be more zen in my photography, I don't listen to music, so I just let all the sounds and the ambient noises of the street get to me. And also I try to slow, a, I try to walk a little bit slower than I, yeah, I usually walk. So for those of you guys who walked with me, I usually walk at a pretty frantic pace. I'm actually taller than most people think I am. I'm about 5'10". And so I could cover ground pretty quickly. But when I try to shoot street photography in a more zen-like state of mind, I try to walk about like 50% speed, which I normally do. And by walking slower, I see more decisive moments that I might not have seen otherwise because I'm usually just running on the streets like a, a madman. Also, strangely enough, this is totally random, but when I have espresso, a double shot of espresso, maybe this because I'm addict, I'm actually more calm and concentrated, but at the same time more acute of my surroundings. And also when you want to be a more zen street photographer, when you're shooting, don't just look at street level, look up and also look down and try to give yourself a 360 degree panorama. Another good pro tip is if you're shooting with, let's just say, a point shoot camera or just whatever camera, just turn off your phone completely. Take your, your phone, turn it completely off. Or if you shoot street photography on your iPhone or your Android, whatever, just set it to airplane mode. And the reason I bring this up is I don't know what it really means to focus in photography or life, but I know what it means to subtract distractions. And for me, photography, it's more about like a Zen meditation of not worrying about finances, what people are saying about me on the internet or just family drama, whatever, but it's about feeling the cobblestones every single time I touch the ground with my feet. It's about being appreciative of the small little things like uh, you know, the old Vietnamese lady having a conversation with her kid or the couple holding hands or the old man enjoying a, a, a cappuccino outside of a cafe. And I think that life, it's pretty simple in terms of what makes us happy. Uh, good laughs with friends, walking, making photos, uh, having good food, having good coffee, and just being close to family. I mean, really to me, that's, that's, that's happiness. And the reason why I do recommend having a very small light camera is because the lighter your camera gear is, the more you could walk around. Even Cindy, she helped me, um, uh, and our friends made a new little bag. It's pretty small, and this is a prototype version, but I'll just take the Rico, just slip it in here. And when I'm out shooting, I just have this small little, it's almost like a portfolio case. I just strap it around my shoulder. And I, all I do now is I just do all my vlogging and videoing on just like a, an iPad. And so life is, uh, it's more simple. It's, it's more minimal. And also nice thing about having a smaller bag is that you just end up putting in less shit. <laughs> so I'm always guilty of this is I overstuff my bags. And 
you can apply this to almost everything in life. Having a smaller house, you buy fewer possessions because there's not as much room. You buy a phone, you get smaller data or um, storage space so you don't overfill your computer with crap. Uh, even if you're shooting, if you have like an iPod or something, get like the small, small, like 16 gigs. I only listen to Kendrick Lamar, Jay Z, and Kanye on loop. And even with your, your cameras, I mean, I think less is more, you know, shoot with fewer cameras. And for me, street photography, Zen, blah, 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 it's, it's all about gratitude. It's about walking slower, about appreciating life, appreciating being alive. And obviously, you know, I'm not a Zen monk. I love wearing my $200 Nike shoes. I still have a, a $3,500 Leica film like MP at home, $3,000 lens. And you know, I like, I like shit. I mean, to be honest, yeah, like, <laughs> this is kind of stupid, but one of my dreams is to own a used because I'm sensible. Either used Porsche or used Lambo. I mean, I think that'd be cool. But no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just half joking. Uh, <laughs> But street photography as like a Zen meditation progress um, process and exercise, and I think you'll just be a lot happier. And don't be so attached to the results; just enjoy the walk. And also, the reason I'm making this video is to advertise my upcoming Zen uh, street photography experience in uh, Kyoto in the next few months. Uh, I'll include a link below as well as some links to other Zen photography articles. Or you could just Google Air Kim Zen Photography Experience 2017. And so, yeah, just think that you know, it ain't about getting more likes on Instagram or Facebook or comments. It's about making more meaning with your lives and making photos which uplift your soul. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.